Okay, hello everyone. This is Casey from WebBuddy. In this uh, short video, I want to share with you what are the SEO plugin which is free that you can use to install in your WordPress website. Uh, before that, let's take a look at the WordPress official plugins directory. When I search for SEO, you can see that the number one plugin that's being shown is called the Yours seo plugin and it has 5 million active installation which is the number one seo plugin according to the number of installation but i wouldn't recommend you to install this plugin because it is very heavy and it will slow down your website a lot and following that you can see there's a rank math seo and also all in one seo uh, these two seo are also quite decent but they have a pro and paid version that will get you to pay if you require some of their uh, other features and what i like most is this one the seo framework first is that it does not have any paid version it gives you all the feature and it is very fast compared to the other plugins let us take a look at the plugin comparison i come to this website wp hive which shows the comparison of plugins that i selected so i select yours seo and seo framework and they made a comparison on the script and the memory usage the lower is better and we can see that the seo framework is lower so the winner is seo framework now the next thing they compare is page speed the page loading speed and this one is also lower so the winner is also seo framework so comparing yours and SEO framework, SEO framework is definitely a free SEO plugin that uh, almost any website can benefit. So the next thing I'm going to show you is let's do a demo and install SEO framework in a WordPress website. So once you log into your WordPress dashboard, let's go to plugins, add new plugin. And on the search box here, type in SEO frame work okay so we search for seo framework and this is the plugin click install now and after that click activate okay so click on activate okay so once your plugin has been activated when you scroll down on the left side you will see this seo option so click on seo one thing I like about this SEO framework plugin is that it will not flood your dashboard with all the announcements and news and plugin offers that keep asking you to pay or buy any upgraded version. Okay, so this is the SEO settings that you will see. So in the general setting, most of it you may want to leave it by default. Uh, for me, I will check this display the SEO bar in the SEO setting meta box. Okay, so most of the setting over here you can leave it by default. Uh, except some of the settings you may want to take a closer look, which is when you scroll down, this is the home page setting. So for the home page title, type in the title of your home page. So for example, for me, my website is office cleaning in singapore for example okay and it will tell you it's too short or too long so you can adjust accordingly uh, here and for the meta description the same thing you can type in a meta description for google to show in the search listing page but uh, please note that google might not show what you type in here because google nowadays they will automatically uh, scan your web page content and show only those that they think is relevant to the keywords okay so this portion over here is for the home page title and description and if you want to set the specific title and meta description for a specific page or post you just need to go to the post so for example for me let's go to all posts and for example i want to set this so i click edit okay so this is my blog post about the ultimate guide to green cleaning products for your home if i were to scroll down to the very bottom this is the title so i can type in any uh, keywords for the title and i also can type in any meta description 
for Google to consider showing. And at the side, you can see there's a the this scale to show you whether is it uh, appropriate, whether the characters, the number of characters is good or uh, too short or too long. Okay, so that's the a very important purpose of this SEO framework. It helps you to enter the title tag, the meta description tag of all the pages and posts plus the home page. Okay, another thing that you want to set is that when you scroll down, you will see there's a schema setting. So under this schema settings, click on presence and this is an important selection here to select. So if your website represents an organization, which means a company, a business, then you can select an organization. So if your website represents a person, so for example, you are a blogger, photographer, then you can select this a person. Then you can scroll down and make some of the uh, changes and type in your social media profiles over here. Okay, so that's all so this is after you have done everything you just click save changes so this is a very quick simple uh, to set up seo plugin to make sure that your pages and posts have the right beta title and meta description without slowing your website a lot and presenting you with a lot of uh, upsells like other plugins uh, will do so I hope that you find this uh, video tutorial useful to use a free SEO plugin for your WordPress website. If you have any questions, just feel free to post in the questions uh, below. I'll do my best to answer them. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.